Hello everybody, welcome back to more Undermine of the Mind Streak in Time. Katana Kui is our peasant this time. Thank you very much for the support on Patreon. Newly christened the Patreon supporter. Very happy to have you. Very happy to have you. What the heck do we got going on here? Alright. 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 Okay, 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 okay. I see a I see a link between some of this stuff here. There we go. I see a link that makes us have an okay first few floors with a throw run. Will we stay as a throw run? I don't know. I don't know, but we got that. A couple of things just working well together to make that happen. I hate starting with such a major swing disadvantage just for quality of life reasons. But alas, it, you know, it's fine. Doesn't hurt us that much from a strength perspective. I might do that, actually. Ooh. I don't really know if I should... Yeah, you can do better. Sure. Fine. Yes. Makes our swing a little bit less uh, annoying to use. Also gives us a little bit of HP. I'd say it's a... I'd say it's a net upgrade. Not like a huge one, but I would say it is one. Doink, doink. All right. Hop on. Pop. Slide on back. Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, I just step on the spike. <laughs> Anyways, you know, logical stuff. Oh, boy. But whatever. We're on a streak of, uh, oh, man, you know, 30-something. 30 30-something. 30 Finally, we're able to actually get our new crown. I have no idea what was making, a, making it not activate but it seems to be sorted now so i'm, I'm happy about that uh you know what i'll take that bigger hit so that we can get the throw speed up <laughs> it's a net neutral okay all right very funny today game we don't have any way to get into the shop and even if we did we hardly have that much money to make it worth it do make it worth it miss the gold all right but I, I, this is probably one of my favorite crowns as a uh, from recent past i did like the one that was kind of like the defect from slay the spire but i gotta say this one's is big we got the big crown oh it's a nice big chunky son of a gun it's, it's a spider <laughs> I wonder, like, what kind of other, you know, they've got to get slightly goofy with some of them. Knowing the game's kind of, uh, it's got, it's got a slight sense of humor kind of, uh, in a, a more tame way than a lot of other games. I, I would say it's got a sense of humor for sure, though. Um, and I, I, I like the amount, I like the amount of humor it, it throws in. Because you can still take it, like, quasi-seriously. Quasi seriously, but it's also, you know, it's goofy. It's very, it's very goofy. And I would imagine that there are some crowns that are very, very goofy. I mean, honestly, just getting like that, uh, effectively like the karate belt for a crown was already, you know, it's already a little bit goofy. We can do better. Okay. Okay. This is not necessarily great. It, it can be good. It's good for AoE clearing out. It's pretty bad for bosses. So for this first boss, I think I might want to probably be more of a melee son of a gun. If we can swing it. If we can get any kind of upgrade at all for our melee to make it just a more, you know more palatable experience otherwise we're probably gonna maybe go for a throw into swing so we can mark them with the the bird here if you don't know what the bird does it i mean it's doing the lightning bolts we have had it a little uh, a little bit recently it does the lightning bolts eventually it'll give us a little bit of lightning resistance and uh, eventually after that it'll just get even more wait we can just jump on top of this Open it from the corner. I feel like there's there's a way we can cheese this, and I don't recall. 
But uh, afterwards, it just gives a larger chain lightning radius. It's a, it's a not bad, you know? I, I feel, especially on other mine, my opinion of it has sort of shifted a bit. Oop. In the main mode, it's like, it's okay. Usually you get so strong personally that it just doesn't matter that it's doing damage. In this, it it can make a pretty substantial impact on your run. Hey, I, uh, yeah. It can make a pretty substantial impact on your run. Kind of hoping, ooh. In a weird way, I kind of hope we get the hardest boss first, which I would probably consider the Salamander right now. I think. All right. Just in case, like I was talking about, I think we might be better off getting swinging as a semi-valid option. Dear God. All right. What are we at? Yeah, our swing does more damage. But obviously, we have the mark. All right. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I, okay. I wish we... This is one of the rare scenarios where I wish we had a range up without a lot of throw speed up. Because we could be doing what I'm doing now, but from further away. This is kind of an unsafe sort of a distance here to be doing it. What? That was such a short amount of time, my friend. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh, up, hey, up, oh. <laughs> he just kind of sat there for a while. Oh, uh, this is less good. Not a good spot. Yeah, throw, throwing for Ponzu, I feel like, is pretty good. Throwing for the new final boss is, uh, like, the way to go, to be honest. Kind of want to just mark the boss and then go for swings on these ads. Slowly but surely, we would get him. Pretty much just, I think that's a good idea. Just keep ourselves alive. Just keep ourselves alive. We'll zap him to death without having to try. Nice. That's another one I'm pretty happy to get out of the way. I would say as far as difficulty go, oh, interesting. As far as difficulty goes, I think they're relatively appropriate from, uh, from hardest to easiest in the main game or easiest to hardest, you know, first floor being the easiest. I think they got it pretty, pretty accurate as of right now. I hate both of these. I There's a lot of scenarios where I do find Nori <clears throat> harder than Selt. Or <laughs> uh, definitely that's the case. Nori harder than Ponzu is what I meant to say, though. There's situations where I find Ponzu to be, you know, the worst sometimes. There's a few runs where Ponzu, you know, you just, your DP, if your DPS isn't good... Ponzu is terrible because he basically has a DPS check on him in the sense that if you um, if you don't kill ads fast enough, you don't do enough damage to kill ads fast enough, you're just, uh, okay, you're just going to lose because they're just going to fill up the screen and you're not going to be able to do jack squat about it. Oh, now I'm going to do jack squat about it. All right. We could totally convert to like a swing. Well, you know, you can't really you can't really do a swing throw hybrid run when you have throwing star. It just doesn't really work that much. I probably shouldn't have done this, but I just want this gone. Thank you. Because you can't swing throw. You can throw. You can't even, and you definitely can't throw swing because you can't swing with a thing that you don't have in your hands. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, as soon as you get the piercing, you pretty much shoehorned yourself into being a distance a distance fighter. 
So this is one of those, it's one of the rare scenarios. When you get Throwing Star, you do need to consider potentially picking up some throw range. Which, if you don't know, I always... I always kind of stray against it on my average runs due to the fact that um, it it takes forever for your pickaxe to come back to you. Really, it's so cheap. I should get this, actually. I think I bungled it. I soiled it. Please, please, money. Money, 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 money. money. Thank you. Please be 30. Oh, okay. I almost bungled it big time. That's going to add up to so much money over the course of the run. It's pretty early to get it. It's pretty early to get it. We do have loyalty and we have wealth. If we would have picked up one of the other ones from uh, that shop, it would have been really good. I don't know why I even come in here. Next. Don't got no keys. We could try to bomb our way into it, but I don't think there's a secret room there. There would have to be a secret room off to the right. Right here, which I... I think it's possible. Ooh, I think it actually... There's a weird glitch with the... Visual glitch with the skulls there that made it look like there was a secret room. But nope, it's just a glitchy texture. That's all. Off I go, then. Relatively... Okay run so far for straight. Ain't the best, ain't the worst. But we are going to be picking up quite a bit more money now. That doesn't even do damage. Mark this sucker. Ep, 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 ep. Probably shouldn't do that. But I'm gonna. Just curious what is in there. What are we going to work towards? There's a throw distance. There's a key doubler and the miner's flask. All of those are pretty much in the same, wow, same sort of realm for me, which is, it sounds interesting. I would like it, but I don't know if it's going to be feasible, dollar bill wise. But, I've been craving a chakram run. It's like, there was a, a phase uh, of mod under my career where I was getting it every single run I miss those days not really not really you know I never want to get even if it's my favorite item if I started to get like I, what's that in my like I love vorpal blade if I got vorpal blade every run I would start to wish I wasn't getting vorpal blade and it's just it, it really uh, one thing I hope is in 1.0 more than almost anything, I feel like the game needs like a ton of items. I don't know. I feel like that's how the game stays fresh at this at this point for someone who's played a bunch of hours. Whether or not that's their the audience they think they need to expand to is maybe the question. I think you know, like I, I think that it's there's definitely something to be said about okay appealing to the people who want to play for a long time when the genre is a roguelike because there's so many people who are looking for the next rogue like light you know fill in the blank uh that they can sink a hundred hours into and i have been able to sink a hundred hours into it easy i'm sitting at 238 hours but I don't know. I feel like not everybody would be able to. I mean, obviously, a lot of people don't have that time, but I'd say a lot of people who even maybe uh, want to. I, I, th I think item variety is a big deal in roguelikes. Because it's all about, especially this one, where it's so fun to game break. It's so fun to game break and set up these wacky scenarios. I feel like more tools to do that is where... That's where the game shines. And I think more tools would be a great way to... You know, lean into its strength. That being said, no idea what they're going to be uh, planning or changing for 1.0. Got to be something. They said it's going to be one of their bigger updates. So, I have no clue. At the same time, they may have something in mind that I, like, 
I wouldn't have thought to ask for the other mine mode, you know? It's exactly what I wanted, but I never would have thought to ask for it because I would have thought it'd be too big of a deal. But I don't know. Now it's the only way I really desire to play this game right now. Like, the, the main mode is just too much of... Like, it's fun to go on a power trip every once in a while. And, like, if you're making, you know, one video on the game a month, then it's about, you know, how to, you know, if you're making, basically what I'm saying is if you're, if you're dangerously funny, the main mode is great. You know, it's all about just how do you make the one wacky thing happen? Uh, like, because it's, it's great for that. But if you can make the, the thing is, it's really easy to make a wacky thing happen in the main mode even with some of the changes they made. So it's just like, it's only fun if it's not common. And it's less common than it used to be, but it's still pretty common. And it's just, it, it's, it feels like the game is not, the, the main mode is not designed to be played at 100% at, at unlock. It's, that's how it feels to me. And I think that that's the case. And that's why they made this mode. Oh, this is tough. I think that's the case, and I think that is why they made this mode. And for both modes to become more more exciting, I think more items is a very... Like, it's always... I always feel weird about suggesting that, because I'm like, eh, it's probably just the obvious answer. And for a lot of games, I don't think that necessarily just adding more items is the answer. But I think, like, for this game, it would it's two birds with one stone. Like, one... Obviously, everybody likes to see new items. Two, I think it helps with the, uh, you know, the the breaking situation in the main mode. Because if, if there's more items in the pool, it's harder to get the break. Which makes it more exciting when you get the break. Yeah, Pearson... It's not the best on this, but if we go right here... Just use some simple geometry to pierce. Ah, uh, heck. To pierce. Oh my god, we reflected both those, I think. We don't have any fire. Alright. Uh, <laughs> the distance. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a double, a double clammy. Oops. That was some terrible reaction time. Oh, Nelly. Should we be swinging? No, I, I feel like we... I feel like we are on a throw run. I think so. And like I said, you can't really... Uh, as soon as you get the piercing, you can't really do a hybrid run anymore. Hybrid runs have become pretty fun, though. Because it's kind of like I've discovered something. Just like the one weird breaking kind of game mechanic situation we just sort of figured out. Kind of feels like it unlocked a whole new style of build that we didn't know existed. Or at least I didn't know existed. Because... It, it w makes sense to specialize entirely if you don't, you know, if you're not using both. And for the most part, there's not, like, a lot of reason to be using both. Unless the trick happens where you can swing throw, like we figured out recently. And then in that case, yeah, hybrid makes sense. Can't do it with, uh, can't do it with throwing star, though. Which probably makes it a bad item. I'm actually gonna go with this weirdly enough all right next oh boy we're at rank two which one is that is that increased lightning yeah increased lightning damage increased uh by both of us? Or is it lightning resistance? 
Okay. It's reduce and increase. Gotcha. Double whammy. And three is the distance. The chain up. The chain up. I just love... Like, yes, the crit, the crit would have been good, too. I love the ability to slow down a dang enemy with the throw. It feels great. Neat. Throw speed up, effectively. That's kind of, that was kind of my dream scenario there. Yep. I haven't taken a ton. Oh my god, I haven't taken a ton of risks. You know why? It's because tariffs. Oh. Pull the heavens down on your foes. My god. I Tariffs are actually ludicrous. I, they're not even, like, I would rather have, like, four other curses, four other major curses, than have tariffs. It's so bad. Because it's so bad, and the fact that it exists, eh, the fact that it exists makes it harder to get rid of it. Like, it's hard to get rid of it now unless we get a stray curse tag. Oh, God. Tariffs, tariffs, tariffs. Stinky. Oops. Walked right into it. But Skull Shield is very good. Very, very. Cherry Berry good. All right. 560... Is that enough for the uh, for the curse removal? And if so, should we bother? Oh man. Other mind seven. Yeah, it's if we can. Uh, impress me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very worth it. Would do it again. I want the synergy. I want the synergy. And I will sell this later in the run if I don't get it soon. Uh, I've, st I've still not seen. Ever since I unlocked Mune, I have not seen it. I am actually confused. I, everyone said as soon as I... Or, it's very like everywhere I saw seemed to say that as soon as I unlocked Moon Age, should join the pool. I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. I got no idea where it be. Oh well. Might be a bug. Might be a bug. I was hoping that was a mimic. Hope it's a bug. And that it don't have to... Well, I mean, maybe, you know. Maybe as soon as I get Masa Mune unlocked, it joins the pool. So maybe I do have to put it on the shrine. Which, obviously, I can't do today. Yeah, we, we're still doing more throw damage. We really, uh... Really threw a wrench in our run here today. Just to... With the intent to get... A synergy that I don't know if it's possible to even get. I'm doing the science. So you don't have to. See that. There you go, Rat Bond. Hooray! Now rats won't attack us. All of the rats that are very much in the game this late. You know what? Watch it show up today. Watch it show up today and I freak out. 
It's going to. Oh, boy. It's going to, isn't it? I've not seen it. It's been like 10 episodes. It's, no, it's been like... Eh, no, yeah. It's been like 12 episodes since I've unlocked it. It. I don't think it's even a rare item. I would imagine it's as rare as Moss is. So why would I have not have seen it? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I've, I have seen every other item in the game. Unless it's a legendary, which I don't think it is. I find that very hard to believe that that'd be a legendary. Okay. I forgot what I forgot I even had this. Pull down the heavens onto your foes. Let's just use it. Oh my god. He didn't even care. He didn't even care. Okay. So we should increase the damage of that crystal as well, which is neat. I would imagine from the pet. Should. Should work out that way. Stonks? Eh. Still worth it. Worth it for the risk. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're making a run, finally. On Other Mine 8. We're starting to put together our run. Better late than never. All right. Oh, garbage. Garbage! Should have gone for the healing, probably, but still. Garbage. Huh. Whoa! I didn't know he could make such a stupid path. He seems like he's just moving faster than normal. There. Rank three, chain lightning, pierces, or bounces to more targets. Cool. I don't know if I've ever seen this room before. Do they add a new room? I feel like more rooms is yet another thing that would obviously be a very big boon. Just anything that increases long longevity. I feel like it's a weird thing that you kind of have to... I think with roguelikes you have to mark it towards is... The false concept that you need to make a game that someone wants to play forever but it's like people just want to feel like they're gonna be able to play it for a couple hundred hours it's it's, it's a roguelike a roguelike curse you know it comes with the the name a lot of the times just because people get excited about the genre because of games that they were able to put hundreds into binding of isaac enter the gungeon i don't know maybe like F ftl nuclear throne Darkest Dungeon, Spelunky, you know, all those where it's easy to it's easy to put a hundred hours into those. Easy to, if you uh, if you're into the genre. So I think that it's just it's a tough uh, it's a tough sell to a lot of people. I think sometimes. That being said, I think Other Mind, under Undermine. I keep calling it Other Mind because it's basically. It's basically what the game is to me. <laughs> I think it's got a real shot of breaking that really tough to breach echelon of roguelikes that Hades, I think, is the most recent one to uh, to break into. I feel like not a lot. It's like not a ton of roguelikes can break in there. I think Hades is, is one of the only ones in any recent years that's kind of uh, done that. And that's not even out in 1.0 fantastic game or is it not out? wait it is out in one point it is out in one it's not out in 1.0 it's hard to tell because it's an early access game that's so so much more polished than every 1.0 game that i seem to play i i don't think it's actually out in 1.0 which is crazy because it is so polished i want to play hades now now i want to play hades great great They've done a new update. Do I have a reason to justifiably reboot a series that so people will actually want to watch it? 
Because I'd adore that game. I would love an excuse to play it. Hip, 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 hip. Saving my throw damage potion for later. Seems like... Okay, so we either have Mortar or... Mordor or the very nasty Salamander boss. Which could totally kill me. Because we don't have that... Oh my god. That strong of a run. I should save... Ooh, my throw potion for it. Just in case. Alright. Back. Back. Down we go. Doing a great job, Katana Kui. Damage sounds good. Damage sounds good. Don't want to destroy a blessing because it just would be so disheartening if we lost the two throw damage up right now. We're we're really like walking a fine line between a run. I could have sworn we were already here. Between a run that's good and a run that's bad. We're like, it's it's a very fragile balance here today. get an extra bomb but the spectral pickaxe goes a long way in helping our room clear it gives us just yet another chance to uh, get the proc of our elemental effects off <clears throat> oh Ooh, no oh no oh no see like right there we just we totally killed that side of the room without even going over there. That's satisfying. It's a lot of the reason why like, I, I really do want throw runs to work. They, they truly do have their own very unique kind of meta to them. Like a throw run is just a weird elemental bounce-a-thon for the most part. And it almost always turns out that way. And a swing run is almost always... I'm going to hit for the big number very fast. Which is also fun. But, like, you know. One's a little more unique. But, it's, you know, none of them are going to be unique if they get the same thing every time, though. Whip, whip, whip. Like, I, I feel like a lot of the time I don't... Oh, wow. Well, thank you. You don't get a big a big number throw run as often. It happens, but it's just like... Usually it's strong because of all the weird gimmicky bounces. Not because of your pickaxe hitting for a lot. Uh. Uh. Eh. I don't know how that even shakes out. We <laughs> Taking extra damage but getting more HP. I, I don't know statistically if that's even helpful. Oh, oh, oh. Throw runs are the best just because that sound effect. That's If nothing else, that sound effect. The it's so good. So good. I should have not done that. Oh, look, it, it gave me the bomb back and said, we agree. You should not have done that. What was that for? Okay. And yet another bomb. It's okay. We're getting hell of a lot of money. Hell of a lot of money. Nice joke. I could get the crystal, though. And take it with us. On with the show. Oh, mega lol. Shock him, shock him, shock him, shock him. No! That is depressing. 
That is such a... That was such a bad get for this particular run. Yes, I know we could have probably swung a Doom Blade situation and it would have been okay. But like... Disappointing. I just wanted to run through out of sheer disappointment. And last karmic scale has been buffed. The last time I asked about that, nobody said yes. So I imagine it has not. I, if, if, I think it really does need a buffer change or something. So, or at least from its last state that I saw it in. It, it's just, it, when you pick it up, it basically means your run's gonna die. Oh, what? Did you hear that jump? This is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. I jumped. That room was butts. Oh my god. There is not a lot I could have done there. I mean, I guess I could could have gone up north and just waited and waited and waited until one of them slowly waddled their way up. I guess there's not a reason to... No, there is a reason to skip it. We're not really swinging and uh, we don't want to put ourselves in a situation where we can't increase one of these and then round up with the round up potion. So there is a reason. There's a reason. Because I'm not swinging practically at all. We got the Boyd. We're already doing the uh, the zap zap. So if we've got um, if we got mortar, we're gonna electrocute the water anyways. You know, we're already there. So, oops. So it's all good. And it's just gonna help us out with our elemental cheese throw cheese. God, I should have saved that for the boss. It's okay. It's it's probably gonna be mortar, right? I kind of want it to be mortar at this rate. Anybody explode nothing? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are these immune to uh, poison or electricity? These little hidey holes. Built-in cooker too. Oh, wait, we're on other mine 11. We can't, we can't say the Christopher the boss. I always do that on the 11th floor. I'm always... This is too many enemies for such a small zone. I'm s like... I could not imagine having to do this room with a swing run. That would have been so gross. Fight me. 332... Okay. Is that a one key or four key? Don't even know. This is a four key. Can't be a secret room there. All right. I'm excited to see what the next crown is, if <laughs> if it works, I guess. I guess I'm not positive it's gonna work. <laughs> For whatever reason. I'm hoping it's a boat. Could be anything. It could even be a boat hat. There we go around. Hmm. Big number. Sli slightly larger than bad number is probably more like it. What do you got over here? Uh, it's a four key room. And it's a four key room. 
Getting rather rosy once more. You can secret room check and then also multitask doing this. Bite me! Bite me! There's a lot of things that you can't open in this game. <laughs> you go through an average run, I feel like the uh, the door and I and uh, chest open rate is like for like sorry like sixty percent, forty percent stay closed. It's crazy. Other roguelikes, it feels like you leave only maybe like ten to fifteen percent of things closed. This game, you leave like forty to thirty, which doesn't sound like a lot. But it's a lot. Which is okay. It also means if you get the right RNG, you can get a lot of stuff. A lot. On the final four, I feel like we can pretty much ditch. So basically, we're going to have the easiest boss of the whole run, or we're going to have the hardest boss of the whole run. Depending on uh, who we get here. Hey, yep. All right. Mortar would be a joke who would die in mere moments. Seer, I feel like might not be that bad. Especially since I've started to understand more what they're about. But also because throw runs beat the crap out of them compared to melee runs. And the last few times we've had trouble is just because we've been on a melee run. Eh. I feel like we don't need to really min-max much uh, more out of this run here. That was some tight, tight as hell dodging. And I'm not, I wasn't intending to say tight, tight as hell in like the, man, that's tight. That's off the chain. But more just uh, in the, I literally like didn't have anywhere to move kind of mentality. I actually think I'm gonna just say okay and move on. Well, we can do this. We'll bring it back. We never even use the reroll. I remember what was in here. I guess. Would have been way more worth if it got rid of brittleness, though. It's more it's not as much that it was worth as it is it wasn't unworth. No jeez. We gotta try. Real gamer hours. Gamester Supreme time. Yep. Ah. <sighs> oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. When are you gonna? Okay, I was gonna say you take him too long. Oh my. Okay. Thorium, at the very least, put a cooldown on it. Oh my god, that's annoying. It's annoying, is all it is. Can't do jack squat. Do it again, I cry. What was that ding? I don't have the, I don't have the wet blanket. Oh, good, 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 damage. Here it comes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
What if bombing him breaks it? It does? It, it, it does? <laughs> it does? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Since when? Oh, God. All right, fingers crossed. Is the game going to give me a... Where's... Where is my crown? What's happening? I do not understand. All right. Oh, well. I'll probably get it again next time. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, my God. A lot of emotions right at the end there. Apparently, you can bomb away that, which makes it obviously way less annoying. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much to Katana Key. Katana Kui. Dang it. Katana, you gave me the pronunciation. Katana Kui, very much for supporting on Patreon. I'd super appreciate it. If you want to join the list of Patreon supporters, you will get your name pushed right up on top of the list. There's one more person we got right on top of the list. You'll be right after that. Patreon.com slash retromation link at the top of the description if you want to join on in. Help me do this full time at a time where I could not otherwise and get a little bit of rewards at the same time. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. <laughs>